Now, here is how you can use uh, the fitness app on your iPhone without the need to have an Apple Watch. You probably know that uh, some older versions of iOS did not even feature this fitness app unless you went ahead and purchased an Apple Watch. If not, then this wasn't even available for you. But as of right now, it is, so you don't even really need to have an Apple Watch. So what can you do on the fitness app on iPhone only? Well, the user interface is uh, very similar. You still have some activity setups and awards and challenges, but it's very limited. The number one thing to notice is that there is only the red circle, meaning that you can only track calories with it. In fact, let me bring out my other iPhone, which is in fact paired to uh, the Apple Watch. And this is what it looks like on this device. So this iPhone is paired to my Apple Watch. And as you can see, it has three circles. So move, exercise, and a stand. This iPhone only has one circle. So it only tracks calories. And the, the way how this iPhone without the Apple Watch is able to track calories is only based on the amount of steps you take. So you always need to have your iPhone with you uh, in the, the pocket for it to be able to track your uh, progress, to track your calories. It's just going to be an estimate. That means that it's going to be much more accurate when you have an Apple Watch. So you could, in theory, think of it as a pitch to make you buy the Apple Watch. Like literally, uh, since Apple put the, the fitness app and made it very limited for you, they kind of want you to buy an Apple Watch to make sure that you turn this to this. Anyways, you should also know that it's not just about the marketing or anything. It definitely has to be much more accurate with the watch. You have it on your wrist 24-7 or throughout the day most of the time. And it is able to track your heart rate so it knows much better how many calories you burn, how much time you spend exercising and stuff. And it also can track the amount of uh, stand hours. So that that's also very useful. Unfortunately, you don't have this, of course, when you use it on iPhone only. However, one good idea and one thing I would recommend you to do is if you scroll down a bit, you can see some apps which are available to be added to like use the data from. So let's say that you go for runs and you don't really have an Apple Watch. If you do, then of course you can start a workout like this and you go for a run and stuff and the Apple Watch is going to track the distance, import the calories and track and uh, the exercise minutes, everything. On this iPhone, well, you can just bring Bring your iPhone with you and download some third-party app. For example, you download the Nike Run application, which is equipped to like uh, keep track of your running progress so it can track the amount of minutes and uh, the distance and calories and all the stuff. And once you finish the run in here, you're going to be able to like import the data to the fitness application. So here it's going to be like a hub of all the third-party fitness apps. So let's say you also download some Adidas running or, or like walking app to track your steps and stuff like this. So you can add that in here. You can download it to your iPhone and the progress is going to be connected to this. So this is going to be much more accurate compared to just using this Apple fitness app. But of course, there are some other things which you can, of course, use inside the app. So you also have the awards the same principle as on the apple watch but you have much less options so you don't really have that many awards available and also it's kind of hard to like get it accurately measured since you can only use the iphones it's going to be more uh, like difficult a bit but you can still track your awards and here at the bottom you also have the fitness plus so you can actually purchase this uh subscription to it so in case you really want to you can just pay for the fitness plus and you're going to be able to like get the exercises and this is going to be able to track the calories pretty accurately so depending on the exercise you should always be uh, able to see the amount of calories you burn using this fitness app so in case you like work out with the with the video in here you should also be able to import the calories in here in the red circle and you also have the sharing at the bottom which works pretty much the same way as, as on the iPhone and uh, the uh, Apple Watch paired fitness app. So you can just share your progress with some other people. Also, similar way, uh, similarly to the calendar, you can see like on uh, the uh, on this iPhone right here, you can also view the amount of calories you burned 
throughout some different times. So of course only the red circles, but you can still track it and go back in time to see how many calories you burn, for example, on the 1st of March or whatever. So the very same calendar and stuff. Pretty much the same functionality, but much more limited. So that would be about it. Hope the video helped you out. Hope you found it valuable. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech and also check out the next video right here. I think you're gonna find it very useful. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you later.